Alaskan King Crab Fishing Although commercial Alaska shell fishing is rated as one of the most hazardous occupations in America, it can be quite profitable for those skilled at it. To do that though, takes fortitude, experience, perseverance, and a bit of luck. Fishermen use a box-shaped trap called a pot, which consists of a steel frame covered with a nylon mesh a ship may carry 150 to 300 pots. Fish, usually herring or codfish, are placed inside as bait, and then the pot is sunk to the sea floor where the king crabs reside. The pots are dropped in a straight line, known as a string, for easier retrieval. The location of the pot is marked on the surface by a buoy, which is later used for retrieval. Red king crab typically roam on flatter terrain of sand and silt ocean bottoms ranging from 120 to 600 feet. Of all the king crab, red king crab is the most sought after for commercial use. Red king crabs are also less aggressive than blue or golden king crab. The most popular crab fishing time occurs between October and January. The allocated time for a season continued to shrink, at one point a red crab season was only four days long. After 2005, each boat was given a quota based on their catch from previous years and how many crabs are available to catch. Currently, the seasons last from two to four weeks. After allowing the pots to rest on the seafloor, typically one to two days, the pots are hauled back to the surface using a hydraulic winch with a pulley on the end. The pot is then brought on board the boat and the crew sorts the catch. Any crabs not meeting the regulation requirements for size and gender are thrown back. Alaskan King Crab Processing After harvesting, Alaskan king crab are delivered to the processor. Fresh king crab are separated into clusters, half a crab without the body, cleaned, and boiled. Later, king crab clusters are separated into individual legs and graded by size. All king crab ice cook to perfection before being dipped in a below freeze brine and getting a quick freshwater rinse, which creates a protective glaze. The final step for king crab is a flash freezing process that locks in perfect taste and texture. In Alaska, three species of king crab are caught commercially, the red king crab, blue king crab, and golden king crab. The red king crab is the most prized of the three for its meat. A fourth variety, the scarlet king crab, is too small and rare to be commercially viable, though its meat is considered sweet and tasty. Specific size requirements must be met, only certain types of king crab are legal at different times of the year and only males can be kept. The legs are grated by the processors after they are frozen and sawed into individual legs. 
Usually the smaller feeder claw is not considered as part of this measurement but is included in the box in proportional numbers to the king crab legs. Snow Crab Fishing Trawl The snow crab is found in the deepest and coldest waters in the Sea of Japan. This is how snow crabs are landed from the bottom of the sea. Snow crab is a winter delicacy in Japan. The crustaceans are sold under a slew of brand names depending on where they were caught, with a select few enjoying wide consumer recognition. The fishing season for snow crab gets underway in the waters of the Sea of Japan. The crustaceans fetch lavish prices, and to protect their bottom line fishermen tag their catches to verify where they were caught and landed. The snow crab fishery is currently managed, only male crabs of a certain size may be harvested, and fishing is not allowed during mating and molting periods. These measures help ensure that crabs are able to reproduce and replace the ones that are harvested. Females can carry up to nearly 100,000 eggs, depending on their size. They hatch their larvae in the spring when there is plenty of food in the water column. When the eggs hatch, the larvae look like tiny shrimp. Every year, managers set the harvest limit for the next fishing season using the most recent estimates of crab abundance. The crab is carefully graded by value, crabs are measured for size and weight and carefully checked for missing claws or legs, attractiveness of carapace color, state of molting, and scratches or other imperfections. Crabs are kept alive until they are brought into markets and restaurants. Thank you for watching. 